Hey guys, Wise Guy here, and I'm bringing you another beautiful episode of the Stonebreaker server. And today we're going to start the process of one of my other. I probably just, I think I discussed it in another video. A uh, an idea I have for another mega build. Well, not really mega per se, but a big enough deal here. I um, I stated this sheep pen just is is not working out. It's not very big. And as you can see up here, sheep just keep glitching out like crazy. And it's just getting very annoying, and it doesn't look real nice right here anyway. So what we're going to do is... Stay in there, sheep. We are going... And, you know, I have all the cows and pigs over there. We are going to burn this thing to the ground. Well, we're going to build first. And then we're going to burn it to the ground, get rid of it. And over here, we are going to build a nice big barn where I can keep all the sheep and pigs and chickens and cows and everything but first before we do that we're gonna have to do some mega terraforming here because I want it to be you know level here so what I did is I just spent a lot of time over there gathering quite a bit of grass and grass blocks and we're just going to level this out to right about here all the way down and then from here I can put sand on top of it so this is what we're gonna do I'm not going to do this on camera because it'll bore the crap out of you guys, and I don't want to do that. I'm going to save you the madness that I'm about to endure. And, well, you know, I'll just go ahead and cut her, and um, I'll be back whenever this portion is done and sand is on top. And then we can begin the process of starting the barn. I'll probably have to go and get more dirt, too. It's not too much, but fortunately I have an unlimited supply of dirt. Alright guys, I'll be back in just a moment for you. For me, it'll probably take a couple of actual real-world days to do this, because I'm in school and I'm very busy. So I'll talk to you in just a second. It is update time, and look at all that. That took me a little while, and a lot of dirt to mine, might I add. Let's go up here and give you a good look. Oh, is that going to make it? Baller! Alright, so there we go. Now I got a lot of sand here, I got more in the lodge over there, and we're going to start covering up all of this now. Save out on a lot of sand here. I want to extend it further out, but for now, that's about, you can see where it ends about. This this will definitely do for now. So let's get started, and I'll be back when our sand is all placed. And here we are. We are all nice and sanded out here, and it's looking nice. We're nice and level. And I've decided I want the barn to be, uh, as you know, the same style as my little food barn or shed, whatever in the hell you want to call it, where I keep all the uh, gardening stuff. I want it to be in the same style as that, with a nice cobblestone base, uh, oak outlining made mostly with oak, and a stone slab type style roof up there. I definitely want it to be that way. What I kind of want also is for it to be on the same path, which I laid out right here with dirt, and unfortunately... This entire thing is kind of obstructed. At first I thought I was going to put it farther back. But now I'm not so sure anymore. I kind of want it to be a little bit in line with this one, really. Maybe put oh, four or five blocks in between from the that fence to here. So I think I'll do something like that. Or you know what? Screw it. I'll just start it back here. Get that later, because I really don't want to go sheep hunting again. Because right now, with the current plan, I would just kill all the sheep in there and go get more and re-dye them. I really don't want to do that, so I guess we'll build it a little further back. Maybe right in here somewhere. And just go pretty far back. There's still a little spot over here. I'll end a portal over there for you. A little bit here. Uh, eventually I'll get this done, but I can definitely start the whole project now. Without fear of stuff, uh, you know, nice and level, can keep it going. So I'll, uh, I'll be back in just a moment. I'll gather a lot of supplies, and we will get started. And I want this to come back up over here. Make it daytime. I'll be back! And here we are. I laid it out. I've set the, uh, the cornerstones here. Uh, some oak logs. And now it's pretty much just, uh mimic that thing but on a much larger scale but first I should probably set up uh, with the 
pens are going to be like there's 16 colors if I'm using it off the top of my head. And there was nine left over. So the this is about 53 blocks long, I think. Hold on. The math is hard. So there's 64 in the stack. Minus 9 is 55. Minus 2 is 53. So we are 53 blocks in length. All right, so let's start doing this. If we can get... Well, they got to be bigger than over here. So let's see what the size is of the ones here. Current pens are one, two, three. Sheep, get out of the way. I'm losing count. One, two, three, four, five, six by one, two, three, four, five. Six by five. Or five by six. Whatever you want to call it. We need a little bit bigger. So let's count out a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, actually, it's more like nine. Nine. Let me come over here. I need to make sure I got plenty of room for cows, too. There's going to be lots of animals in here. We need to make it all fit. All right, so we got nine there. If I can get a minimum of... I want to say ten on this side, I'd be okay. So we got nine by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, I had to change the uh, specifications a little bit. These are now 12 by 7s, so a little more rectangular. And I also had to extend this out a little bit, so I'm going to have to grab a pick and destroy this cobble here. Had to come out a little bit longer to get 9 in on each side, which will give me all 16 colors of sheep, and a pig and cow pen as well. Granted, the cow and pig pens are not going to be... They're gonna, these are all the same size on all sides. But I mean, uh, it can fit quite a few cows in here. Uh, cows and pigs—they don't necessarily—they don't eat grass, to the best of my knowledge. Uh, you just feed them wheat; they reproduce like crazy. Whereas the sheep, they need the grass to regrow their wool. So uh, yeah, well, this should be good. This should be nice. I hope. I'll uh, start putting up some walls. Also, I'm gonna have to take this down and move it over. So I'll go ahead and do that now. And in fact, I may put, you know, break it up in the middle as best as I can. Uh, put one on the end of those, of course, but then find the middle of this and put another pair there, so to speak. Or, so to speak, what the hell am I talking about? So to speak. And, uh, yeah, I will be back when uh, there's a lot of progress made, because I know you don't want to sit here and watch this the entire time. Quite frankly, I don't even want to sit here and do this the entire time, but work's got to be done somehow. I shall return, my friends. Alright, guys. This is the progress I've made at the end of day one. I'm about ready to close out Minecraft for the night and go take a nice, long beauty sleep. Need my beauty sleep, because I'm butt ugly and I need a lot of it. But uh, here's the end of day one. We did quite a bit of work. I'm experimenting with all this oak right now. Whoa, whoa, what the... F Get off! Okay, I gotta light this place up better, but, uh, uh, yeah, each stall has a row of, uh, grass in it. I'll go get more of that with, you know, shovel it up and fill that out. I'm gonna try and decorate that, you know, nicely, make it all look nice, but progress at the end of day one, not too bad. Uh, this was the line of cobble where I originally ended it and then had to extend it, so I'll fill all that in, and down here... We have empty space down here, so we're going to have to get rid of that too. But overall, I'm uh, quite pleased with our progress right now. And I'll commence uh, pick it up again tomorrow after work, of course. And until then, I'll see you guys, well, quite literally, quite literally for you, just a, a second. But for me, it'll be a few hours. I'll see you then. Here I am bringing you another update. I got all the stalls in. I got, whoa, lag there. I got all the glass in on all the windows. I'm doing a minor decorating work, uh, outlining all the windows with logs. Uh, going up uh, the way a little bit there on these uh, posts at the end outside. Uh, adding some fence posts in here to give us a nice little look. And on the other end, I did the same thing. I can do, there we go. There, there we go. I got this. 
and I was doing this as whoop, get up there as well. There we go. That looks nice. Add some minor decoration to the mix. We're looking all right. Still kind of a square building though. I was or am going to replace these corners with a cobblestone fence just like I have at the lodge. So I'm going to emulate the lodge a little bit in that respect. So I will be back as soon as I do some more updating. Uh, next time you see me here in just a second, I'll replace those corners. I will add a roof, or I should say a second floor, because upstairs I'm going to probably put my chests and Well, I'll have a crap load of space. I'll put like a loft or something. And... Um, over each of these pens, I'm going to put a little bit of glowstone. That way I don't have to have a torch in the middle of the field. Uh, a couple, one or two pieces of glowstone in the middle of the ceiling will uh, keep the grass growing nice and uh, keep it growing. <clears throat> wow, excuse me. So I'll be back in just a second, guys. I think I have made some pretty good progress here. Uh, down here is all set, except for the gates. Uh Putting a gate right here would make it very difficult to lure the sheep in here from over there. So I'm going to lure the sheep in and then, you know, lure them all or lure them all the way back here. Switch it out and then uh, swap the fence real quick and bam! Slap that thing down so they're trapped in there forever. So that's how we're going to move the sheep. But uh, yeah, all the pens are here. And I, I, a creeper blew up in here during construction and I had don't have any dirt on hand. Or in my bar, I should say. And, uh, yeah! I'm very pleased with these pens. Uh, downstairs here looks good. But, as you can tell, I still don't have a roof on it yet. And I lied, I didn't change those out just yet, but I, I will do that here momentarily. Uh, I still gotta fill in over here. This is still hollow underneath. I torched it out a lot. Just, uh, close it in, and we'll be good there. And I am working on the upstairs. Well, actually, let's do it this way. I'm working on the upstairs now. And I did the same thing that I did in the lodge. It is double floor. So I can put uh, glowstone in the ceilings of some of those pens, a few of them, and it won't show through here. And that took a lot of wood. I am pretty much out of oak now. That was so much wood used. I'm also thinking, uh, you know... This is where I'll store a lot of chests. Uh, clearly, I'm going to have a lot of space for chests or something. Keep all the wool here. I will never fill this thing out fully. But I just keep wool and whatever. Cows and sheep and all the good stuff here. So I'm going to put in some windows around here as well. And possibly make some sort of walkway to connect these two. Act I may not have to. Maybe I'll just put stairs around here. And this will, you know, function just fine. Especially since it's too high right here. It shouldn't be a big deal. Just plop on over. Ooh, uh, that won't work. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, th oh, god dang it. Stairs. There we go. That could work. We'll, we'll toy around with that a little bit more once we get the roof on. But yes, I do want to emulate the roof in the style of... Well, now I'm not even sure whether I want it to be that same style right there or whether I want it to be the lodge over there where it's more pointy. This one is flatter and this one is pointy. Uh, I think we're going to lean towards pointy. I kind of like the point look. So we'll probably do that. It'll be almost as tall as the lodge. Well, I, actually, I don't know about pointy. It it would take a, it would make one massive point. I don't know. I'll I'll play with it a little bit. See what we can do here. But first, let me take these out. So yep, yeah, I will be back with you guys when more work is done. guys bringing you another update i'm screwing around with these traps or trap doors here to see if they look nice and i may i, I kind of like it i'll have to put uh stuttering here i'll have to put a 
torch is like above the windows now because I kind of like that. It makes it look a little nice. As you can tell, I'm starting to uh, move some of these animals in here. I got some of the sheep, uh, the cows, the pigs, and the upper level is going to be a real pain. But right here, I can just knock out the back wall and take these guys with some wheat. Let me show you what I'm doing here. So knock out the back, get their attention. F5 this, see where my door is. There we go. And up. Oh, come on, sheep. There we go. Let's find a nice pen for you. Perhaps put you right next to these blue guys. So come on in. Yes, yes, good sheep. And distraction, make more. Make babies. Perfect. I like this. I like the whole look of this barn. Uh, as you saw, probably, I didn't put the roof on it yet, but uh, I like it. I'm liking it a lot. Now I just have to figure out a way to get upstairs for uh, where I'm going to put chests and so forth. Hmm. Or maybe, I don't know. I'll work with it. I'll light it up. I'll put the roof on it. Then I can evaluate whether I want to put an upstairs in it or not. I could just dig out two right here and put all the wool right there and whatnot. So it's nighttime approaches across the lands, and I'm going to continue moving these guys over. Uh, pretty boring stuff. So I'll be back again when I have another update to give, which will more than likely be the roof, I'm willing to bet. And that one may take me a couple of real days. That's a lot of roof to do. Fortunately, I have a lot of cobble that I've moved over into the nether that I was going to use for something else. Guess I'll have to put that one on hold for a short bit until I go strip mining again. All right. All right, guys, be back in just a moment. My friends, we are nearly there. This final piece of glass will make our roof complete and thus the entire project completed. This is such a glorious day. This thing spent, I used up all my frickin' wood for this thing, so we're going to have to eventually go out there once again and uh, pillage the landscape for wood. But nonetheless, let us finish this. Oh, yeah. That's nice. It's party time. Here we go. <laughs> Can't do that too much because I'll turn sticky keys on, but <laughs> it's nice and slow. All right. Well, let me give you a quick old looky down here. Uh, there's no way to get up here just yet. It's almost just for show, but eventually I'll put something up here, because there's just so much space that's being wasted if I don't use it. I'll make a nice way up. All right, let me take you down. And this is it. This is the inside. Uh, the, we the white sheep that you see are ones that I bred over there, and then dragged them over here to repopulate these ones that only had one in them. So once I get enough of these ones in here, I'll kill them out or die them or whatever I have to do to fix it all. So all the sheepies are in. Here's another example of that. All the sheep. All these chests are just going to be filled with wool eventually. i got to start the breeding to get them up to population size. There's only a couple of brown ones in there. Oh, good God. An ender's been in here. Frickin' enders, man. Look at my face. You can never trust an ender. Never trust an ender. Uh -huh. Alright. But this is it. I uh, completed the walkway. And put in the redstone lighting as well. So we got nice lights that come on at nighttime, And this one is finally completed. This one was just, you know, ended right here before. So we've come full circle. Everything connects to the fountain right now. Everything has a road that leads to the fountain. And this is the exterior. Steak time. Uh, I love. I did like the uh, what are these trap doors here? They make it look a little nicer. And uh, I love. I actually love it. You know, like I did on my lodge in the corners. I love my cobblestone fence posts as sides as kind of like supports. Overall, I am very pleased with this structure, and I hope it works out very well. I did notice earlier that one cow managed to escape. And I don't know how, but I then put these these posts here in the corners. And so far, it's kept them... Every, all the cows have stayed inside. 
me turn this down because this is really loud. There we go. The fence post managed to keep them all in there. So that hasn't, no problems have been uh, had since then. I got all the stuff out of here that I was using in this chest for supplies. And uh, yeah, I am so glad this is done. Oh, and I put this uh, the glowstone in here because it's like a fluorescent lighting that goes all the way down. I kind of like it. And I also noticed, unfortunately, putting glowstone right here in the middle of these stalls really did not brighten it up at all. So the double floor kind of uh, was a waste of wood and time, but it uh, I could decide to do something upstairs later. And it'll, uh, you never know. I, I don't know what I'm going to do right now, but it might come in handy later. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, just trust me, I, I did this in... This was 100% legit. I am completely out of wood right now, and I can actually verify it with you if you desire. I, uh, I didn't show you the entire construction process because I figured that would be very boring for you guys, and you wouldn't want to see all that. This, is, phew, this was like almost all the way full with oak. This was after I, I got all this after taking down the previous sheep rectangle that was over there and moving them all um, out of spruce I think jungle wood didn't even use birch I used a bit of birch to make a lot of the fence posts uh, yeah I didn't use jungle wood at all so I'm uh, I'm hurting for wood right now but I'll cut these down get the supply back in and then I'll go out there to the forest and commence and more deforestation of the environment but we'll save that for later. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you want me to show you the entire construction process next time, uh, by all means, I will certainly do it if you want so you can know that I did it legit. But for this time, I'm trying to save you some boredom and uh, just showed you in stages as you saw now, uh, save you some time and boredom, I guess. But I will certainly fix that if you guys want to see me through the entire process and you can know it's 100% legit because you just watched it. So until then, my friends, have a good day, night, wherever you may be, and I will catch you next time. Goodbye. Real quick, guys, before you go, I uh, was toying around with a little bit, and I decided to add some uh, siding to make it look a little nicer. So I added some cobblestone stairs all around and some spruce logs all the way down, and this is the same on the other side, too. But right now I'm debating about whether I want to add something there in the middle because that is where my double roof is and it doesn't interfere with anything and won't show on the inside at all. I'm debating about whether I should add something in there and whether it would be embedded like that or external like that. And I'm leaning more towards the external. But I guess you'll find out next <clears throat> I guess you'll find out next episode because it'll be there then. So ciao.